Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity New York. I'm here with Ted Middleton from Edgecast Networks. Ted, how are you doing? Right, great, how are you? Good. So Edgecast, you've been in performance for a while. You're a go-to service provider in performance. Can you talk a little bit about DNS and why that's all of a sudden popular again sure, when it seemed sure. like that was years ago? Well, you know, DNS is kind of foundational to the web, right? It's the directory by which you find anything on the internet, so it's really the first step of getting to any particular destination. Uh, DNS has also been tr a kind of traditional domain of content delivery networks such as us because it's, it's instrumental in operating a global network and providing good performance. Uh, so Edgecast has been operating DNS infrastructure for many, many years since our inception. It's at the core of what we do. Uh, we're very good at it and we've really tuned it and optimized it to help us deliver the good performance that we, that we do for our customers. Um, what's new for us is that we're rolling out DNS as a service. Uh, independent of the CDN. So now you can come to us for uh, essentially managing primary and secondary DNS like you would with your traditional hosting provider. Uh, but we layer that with really sophisticated kind of enterprise class traffic management, policy based routing, et cetera. So, um, you know, it's kind of a one stop shop. So, those customers who are already, you know, coming to us for CDN and for performance optimization and application acceleration, now they can layer on DNS management on top of that and really get kind of enterprise-grade functionality, and we're doing some interesting stuff in terms of our commercial model where we're trying to get, basically bring them kind of the leading class functionality with kind of an Amazon-style pricing model, you know, pay-as-you-go, self-service, et cetera. Oh, interesting. So it, it really is not about how big you are, but you pay as you go, so anyone could actually... That's right, really low entry point, really easy to get started, grow as, as your application, as your customer base grows. And as your startup grows into something exactly larger right. as well. Exactly. So um, in your, your position in the marketplace, what do you see as the thing that most enterprises struggle with the most? Uh, I'd say it's that it's that growth, you know, going from one tier where you're starting up and you you hopefully are a great success, and you've really got to manage growing quickly, uh, manage your resources, uh, and still provide that you know optimal performance level. Uh, so there's lots of infrastructure components. Maybe you're getting to where you have multiple data centers around the world, and you have to figure out how you're going to you know balance your traffic, your user base. Uh, still provide them great application you know, performance and differentiated functionality. So you might have you know, a set of content that's uh, specialized or focused on a particular market segment, mobile versus traditional desktop, et cetera. So um, things like the you know, DNS services help them do that effectively and efficiently and with really low overhead, low cost, great performance. So you guys are everywhere then. So, we have points global, of presence all over the world, exactly. So a, a startup that wants to go global, if you know, you're paying as you go, you're, you're starting to scale, you're, you're seeing that you're getting a lot more customers, you're starting to slow down your service, Edgecast is a good solution for someone like that? Absolutely, so Edgecast is really what's taking you, you know, out of your data center and giving you, you know, a, a, Infrastructure that rivals, you know, any major, you know, company in the world that can afford it. You know, you're you're up there with uh, all of the leading websites that have staff that focus on, you know, nothing but performance and optimization and tuning the application from the infrastructure all the way to the code. Uh, and so, you know, we basically allow them to, without building it themselves, you know, compete in that class of service. Excellent. So, kind of the AWS for. Yeah, so AWS is, you know, it's uh, virtualization, storage, server hosting. We're not where you're right. managing application instances. We're not like you're managing a virtual data center or virtual services. You're basically saying, I want to put my content out there. I want to give it the broadest possible reach, the best performance. Uh, it's, it's a very easy process. And so where do you see this going in the near future with, with developers, say, that come to Velocity? Uh, so, you know, Velocity is all about performance and it's all about, you know, operational excellence and, and how to achieve that and, you know, that's what we help customers do. So, you know, we, we definitely see continuing to lead in, in performance. We're, we're constantly optimizing, making investments in how to make our technology better, how to grow our network, how to work with customers and partners to provide the right features. Um, and, and so that's what we're going to continue to do. I think the industry at large is getting better all the time at understanding the need for performance and really fine-tuning and digging in and figuring out how you can optimize at, at a really detailed level. 
uh, and, and that benef benefits everyone, you know, creating sets of best practices, uh, and those translate into, over time, you know, consumer services that, that people who don't have that, like maybe core development expertise, can benefit from. You know, two years ago at Velocity, we announced a partnership with Google where we integrated PageSpeed in our Edge engine. So there's an example of something that developed over a period of years out of the performance community, now is available in kind of a turnkey service where you can just turn it on, use it, it makes it a lot easier to implement and adopt for the broader community. So would we be seeing the problems we're seeing with Obamacare and their website if they had been using those services? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Uh, I don't know, because you, you don't really know uh, exactly what's going on there. Those could be problems with no databases and things like, like that. Uh, yeah, you don't know what's going on under the hood. but. I'm pretty sure that there are aspects of, of those problems that could be dealt with with content delivery, application acceleration, you know, the tools and techniques that you know, people like the leading web performance shops, you know, that's bread and butter, that's like table stakes. Whereas maybe that was an afterthought. And when you're launching something like that and you know it's going to be big, you know it's an event with the eyes of the world and certainly the country on it, you better plan ahead and, and you got to think of that when you're launching. Yeah. Ted, thank you for being along with Velocities. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks for, for having time. us. Thanks.